Hi, I'm Paul Puglis with the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension. Today we're going to talk about planting trees and shrubs in the landscape. First thing you want to do when you buy a plant is take a look at those roots at the nursery. Don't be afraid to pull it out of the pot and see, do we have healthy roots or sick roots? This is a great example of a healthy root system. Nice and full all the way to the bottom of the plot. Uh, nice white or sort of uh, light green colored roots. Uh, that's a good healthy root system that you want to start with. In contrast, if you pull out a plant and it looks something like this, the roots are black or rotten and there's no roots at the bottom of the plant. This is a good example of a plant that's probably been overwatered in the nursery and may already have a root rot or disease problem. This is not a plant that you want to take home with you because this will actually continue to be a problem and probably won't make it through the first year. So it's very important if you're going to spend a lot of time and money on planting stuff that you start with good healthy plants in the landscape. So today we're going to look at planting a hydrangea and the technique that we're going to use today is the same whether you're planting um, a pecan tree or a fruit tree in your backyard or any other shrub or ornamental in your landscape. The first thing you want to do is make sure you dig a good hole. And it's more important to dig a wide hole than a deep hole. A lot of people dig holes way too deep. And when you do that, that'll actually catch water and cause root rot problems in, in your shrubs. So spend your time digging a nice wide hole. It doesn't have to be very pretty. Um, at least two to three times wider than the root ball in the container that you buy. Okay? When you're checking the level to make sure that it's at the right height, I always say make sure that your pot is about an inch or two above level. Okay? It's better to plant a little bit on the high side than too deep. We always get questions about adding soil amendments. Should I add compost or organic matter to the soil? Research at the University of Georgia and many other universities has actually shown there's no benefit to adding any organic amendments to your soil. In fact, it's more important to take the time to break up the clods, if you, especially if you've got clay soil, and loosen up that soil, and those roots will do perfectly fine in that without any soil amendments. Also, the problem that we see a lot of times is people will add amendments to the soil and it'll actually add too much and it acts like a sponge in the hole. And that's the worst thing you can do to roots because just like a sponge, it'll stay too wet or too dry and those extreme fluctuations in soil moisture are not good for that plant as far as getting established. So when you take the plant out of the pot, you want to be very gentle. Um, one of the things you need to remember when you're picking up a plant is to never grab it by the stems. Especially with trees and shrubs, you can actually break those stems and cause damage to that plant. So it's important to put your, your hand right at the crown of the plant turn it over and put the weight of the root ball in your hand and as you remove the, the container gently just slip it away and you can take a look at those roots. In this particular case there are some nice healthy roots. This is still a very young plant that hasn't really filled out with roots to the bottom yet. That's perfectly fine and in this case we really don't need to do anything as far as uh, scoring the root ball or, or loosening up the roots. It's perfectly fine to go ahead and put it in the ground exactly as is. Now when you set it back in here you want to check again make sure that it's slightly above grade. And again, it's always better to plant a little on the high side than too deep. There are certain plants that really liked well-drained soil. Things like azaleas and rhododendrons, even blueberries, I would actually take it and plant it maybe two or three inches on the high side. Okay, uh, But in this case, level is perfectly fine with a hydrangea. If the bottom is firm, then that's a good foundation for that plant. If you dug too deep and you backfilled it, you don't want it to settle behind, okay? So make sure you have a nice firm foundation. You can even step on that underneath to make sure it's nice and solid. When you get ready to plant, you start backfilling around the edges with a shovel. And again, make sure that that soil is nice and loose before you throw it back in the hole. Continue to backfill around this plant. This should be a happy little hydrangea. The last thing you want to do is maybe add a little bit of fertilizer to get it started. We recommend a starter fertilizer such as 888 or 101010. All you need is about one or two tablespoons to get it started. For more information, contact your local county extension office or go to our website at ugaextension.org and continue to follow us on the Georgia Farm Monitor. Mm -hmm.